Welcome. The following technical support video will walk you through the steps of how to print out of Adobe Illustrator to the multi-rip film, film positive only rip software. The instructions will walk you through the process of printing, but before you do that, you'll need to make sure that your graphic is already separated. You can either separate your graphics through spot process using a Pantone color chart, or you can do four color CMYK process. In the current situation, all we're going to do is print out our multi-rip film positive test print for our density chart, make sure that we have the correct density available. And in doing so, this is only going to print black ink. So once we have our graphic ready, we're going to go up and click on the File button and go down to Print. The first thing you'll look at is making sure that you choose your printer. In this case, we're going to choose the multi-rip film for the Stylus Photo 1400. You'll notice the PPD will automatically change for you. In some cases, if this is the first time you're doing this, you'll want to also come down and click on the Setup button. When you come to the Setup button, you can click on the Preferences. Make sure that it's choosing your 1400. And then come in here and set your different settings inside. The keys, two settings in the advanced option windows that you'll want to look at are your paper size, and there's a drop down box for all the major size film, and you can also use PostScript custom page size as well. And the second option that you'll want to look at is your screening. You have your option with multi rip for printing out directly from the default settings with the rip using the rip define settings that you've made which were discussed in a previous video, or you can use document defined settings. In this case we're just going to go with the document defined settings. Once you have that, we'll bring it back to our print window. And on the left hand side, depending on what Adobe Illustrator version you have, you'll you can see you have different options. And in this case, if you don't have this options, there might be a button that says show more options or more features you want to click on. You're going to look for the output menu. And in the output menu, the first thing you would do is change your mode and change your mode to separations host base. You don't want to use composite or NRIP separations. So you'll choose the separation host base. And then you can come down and talk about your image. And if you're printing text as screen printing, you'll use a positive image. If you're doing plate printing, you would consider using a negative image. Once you've done that, you then can come down here and have access to changing any of your frequencies and angles. In this case, we are only printing the black. That's the one that has the icon because that's the whole link we have. And it's processed black. It's going to go down at a 90 LPI, which is our frequency, to 55 degree angle and an ellipsis dot. Once we have that set, we'll go ahead and hit print. It's now going to send the file to the multi-rip interface. And it will begin to process the file. As the file begins to process, you'll notice on the left hand side it will start to give you a preview. This is a quick access way to viewing the preview. Across the center of this, you'll notice that there are tabs coming here. We have our status message tab, which gives us the information that we just did. As we talked about before, our frequency is 90 and our angle is 55. You have an incoming jobs tab, where the job would be processing in the middle of it. You have your process job tab, with, and you have your process pages. Another place besides viewing your preview on the left-hand side when it first comes in, is you can also preview your graphic on the process jobs tab by just double clicking on the file name. Once you double click on the file name on the left hand side click on the page that you want to look at. It will tell you what the, the color is to it as well. It will then bring up our preview window for this. All you have to do is then go down click on your full resolution. It will now give us a better preview and if you want you can actually zoom in using the, the full view and see the actual individual dots of your halftone. 
In this case, we're using ellipsis, and you can view those. That's all there is to printing out of Adobe Illustrator to multi-rip film. If you have any additional questions, please contact your distributor. Thank you.